All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chrissy Chaos. Today, I have a wild guest. So a lot of you people have asked me throughout the show, they say, hey, why do you always call Jasmine, your girlfriend, Vinny, on the show? And the reason is, is because on my old show, History I Is with Giannis Pappas, we used to call Jasmine the situation because she was into fitness. So that's why I called her the situation. Just like Mike, the situation from the Jersey Shore, she was into fitness. And that's why. And then when I started the Chrissy Chaos podcast, I said, you know what? I want to call Jasmine another member of the Jersey Shore. I want to, let's think about it. We thought about, oh, should we do Snooki? Should we do j I said, no, no, no. I said, what are the things, what are the things that I like about Jasmine? I said, well, you know, I said, she's hot, she's tan, and she wants a house on Staten Island. So I said, the only person that fits that is Vinny Guadagnino. That's why we call it Vinny. And that's my guest today, Vinny Guadagnino, the Keto Guido. What up? Look at that, everybody. We What's got up, Vinny. everybody? You, first of all, my, the fans were telling me, because for a long time, we, we had, we were, I, was, I kept saying I was going to get T.T. Jerry on who is Jasmine, a.k.a. Vinny's transgender uncle, who was in prison for 25 years. They're like, you're never going to get T.T. Jerry on. And then, boom, we got T.T. And then the next one was, you'll never get Vinny Guadagnino on. And I kept saying, one day I'm going to get Vinny Guadagnino on, one day. And then, boom, he's here, here in the are. flesh with dirty socks on. <laughs> yep, in my living room. I'm flattered, though, that you call her that because I didn't know if you were calling her Vinny just like another, like just the name Vinny or something. Yeah. Like maybe her name is Vincenza. But right. it's me. Right. You, no, it's me. It's, literally, when we, do you remember that day, Pimp, when we were sitting there thinking and we were like, who should it be? It was all live on the podcast, episode yeah. one. And we were like, you know what? I love Vinny the best. I thought you were going to say like she's like super sweet down to earth. Yeah. She's kind of smart. Yes. She's like crazy but normal. Yeah. But you were just like, nope. Well, Lives, I, wants to live on Staten Island I said, and I is said, tan. I said, what Jersey Shore member have I had sex with? And the answer is Vinny Guadagnino. All right, but I'll accept that. That's what it is. I said, I had sex with Jasmine. I've had sex with Vinny. This dude, way nobody we can go get way her. back. What, dude, we go way back. You did my podcast when I had one like eight years ago. 8,000 years ago, I yep. did it. And then when we met, first of all, here's a little, I don't even know if you know this connection, that... Hey, what's up, everybody? Go to ChrisDComedy.com. We got stand-up dates coming out. We got Providence, Rhode Island, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We've just added dates. Dania Improv, Miami, Florida, just added in September. Waukegan, Illinois. Uh, Mohegan, I'm sorry, Foxwoods in Foxwoods, Connecticut, October 23rd. Zanies, Nashville. ChrisDComedy.com. Phoenix is coming up. West Palm Beach. We're going to put that on sale soon. And thank you so much. In 2000, whatever it was, 12, you were on the first season of Guy Code, MTV's yeah. Guy Code. And then you only did the one season. So, so they said they had, in the second season was starting, they were like, oh, we need to replace, you know, Vinny's, Vinny somehow. Mm -hmm. So they had like these like auditions at comedy clubs and, um, you know, kept trying people out and they fell on me and they said, hey, we're going to try you out for just one episode. Just one episode, you're going to do one episode of, of Guy Code, and that's it. And then I did the one episode, and then they were like, you know what? Okay, we'll give you a few more. And then I said, okay, but they were like, no more than five. So I said, whatever you want. I had no career at right, all. I was right. doing physical ther pediatric physical therapy. Were you even a comedian? I was doing stand-up. That's okay, it. But okay. I was doing stand-up for like two years. So okay. I was like, no, I'd, z I'd fucking z I would show up to the I would show up to do guy code in khakis like an asshole. And they, <laughs> 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 I remember I used to see you on the show. I thought you were like a UFC fighter. Yeah. Because well, you were wearing like an affliction shirt. Well, because that so was we're like, yeah, we want you to replace Vinny. So you have to wear an affl like affliction, affliction shirt. shirt. So they, so they replaced. So, but that's, but that's that's how we're connected is because I, if it wasn't for you, if you want to stay doing that show, then I would, yeah. I would have, I would have had no career and I would have killed myself off. I would have jumped off the Arizona mm -hmm. bridge already. That would have been cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, we did guy codes, girl codes and, did you do um, guy court. I didn't do guy court. Okay. I actually did a pilot for gay code. Nice. But it never came out. Interesting. Get it? <laughs> is that true though? <laughs> yeah it's true oh. it's, it's all true <laughs> oh shit um no dude that's yo see but and, and then and then but even furthermore than that we became friends you were doing stand-up yeah. we'd come around and do stand-up shows together yeah we would talk all the did time did you ever do any of my shows when like the agents would book me for like Vinny and friends no you didn't do I it because I, I used to like, like so i was doing stand-up a little bit just because jersey shore was off i was doing like I was heavily invested in improv. Right. I was doing UCB, 
classes, graduating. I was like fucking I feel, remember that. feeling myself. So obviously like the little transition would be to stand up and right. for who I was, I already had like a name. I wanted to like just transition and try to do stand up like a lot of people do. I thought that the stand up world would like yeah. hate on me heavily no. and like be dicks like this reality star trying to stand up. Couldn't have been nicer people in the world like you yeah. and supportive. Sure. I think maybe because you guys know how hard it is. Sure. And you're like, yo, if someone wants to fucking get up here and try this, like be my guest. That's the thing. It's like the audience will judge you. Not not me. You got the balls to go on there and yeah. do the sh show and do stand up. Go ahead, man. Because even the best of the best cream of the crop, Jerry Seinfeld, only gets five minutes yeah. to be Jerry Seinfeld on stage. And then you better be funny or the, or the crowd will tell you, hey, this isn't for yeah, me. It's not so up to you to tell no, me. It's dude. up to them. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, because now obviously you go, you're the keto guido. Have you eaten bread since 9-11? Um, <laughs> yes. I ate bread this weekend, actually. You ate bread this weekend? Yeah, I'm not always keto. I'm not always in ketosis. But, but let me now, ask you, Okay. Can you explain this 9-11 thing? Because <laughs> everybody sends me the 9-11. Like, all right, so they're like, Chris is talking about you on the podcast, on, on, in stand-up, like it, during right. an act. And I'm like, all right, cool. So now I see the clip, and it's like Chris D 9/11 story, and I'm like, how am I tied into this? You're my 9/11. So I have to like go through the whole thing. Like, when do I come in? So can you explain to me? I remember, I figured it out, but I want to hear. Okay, it. so let me explain that to you. If you want to look on YouTube, but if you just Google Chris and Stefano 9/11 story, it on oh, it's on Christie Comedy YouTube as well. But on 9/11, two years ago, I was at down at the Comedy Cellar. And I had, you know, was drinking a little bit. I don't really drink. And the comedians were going on stage before me. I was like third or fourth up on that show. They were going on and nobody was really having a good set. The crowd was tight. Comedians were kind of bombing because nobody was calling out the elephant in the room that it, we were doing comedy on 9-11 okay. in the West Village, two train stops away from, you know, so mm -hmm. it was like, you know, nobody was addressing anything like, oh, don't talk about that. So I'm drinking vodka sodas. And then I just did a shot. I just did a shot. And I was and I went up next. I said, you know, fuck this. So I go on. I take the mic out of the stand. And I just was honest. I was like, listen, <laughs> it's 9-11. Right. You know, we can't deny that. I said, T this is the one day year I won't eat hummus. I'm not going to eat hummus. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then people started laughing. And, and then I started going crazy. And then I started telling a story about my dad about my real life when I got thrown out of high school for a day because I broke a chair over some kid's head on 9-11. It's all in the story. But I think in the middle, because again, I was legitimately for half of that, like I've watched it now, but I don't remember half of what I said because I was like this close to blacking out. I actually did black out that night. Really? Like I woke up the you next- you normally not drink on I'm stage? not a drinker. No, I'm not a drinker. Like I drink here and there, but I'm not a guy. But that night I just went crazy and I blacked out. I woke up like in my bed, like what happened last night? Holy shit. And then I didn't know that I just made a viral stand-up clip yeah. that night. I had no idea. That's the only thing I've ever done in my career that's went viral. Get the and fuck out yeah, of Yeah, yeah. As far as YouTube stand-up goes. Knowing your other sets, was that like one of your best sets or just went viral? I No, well, I think what happened was is, is I had done a version of that story on my stand-up special, Comedy Central stand-up special, Size 38 Waste, but because it was so, had to be so polished and in a box because it's right. TV... I kind of would always do it. I would always do that bit like I'd been in a box, but I was so unhinged and free drinking that I think it was like one of my better sets because I told parts of it that I didn't tell. I just was free with it. I didn't care who, I was doing it for me. So it's ever since actually that clip went out, my whole stand up and my whole podcast and my whole career, I realized like something flipped. Get like, drunk. <laughs> yeah, right. Get drunk. No, I do it. I do it for me now. I want the audience to laugh. Yeah. I used to do it for the audience. I want, want them to laugh on them a good night. And of course, I still do. But now I'm like, let me tell the jokes that, that are for me and let me just, because then I think they'll respond better if I'm just being me and having fun, if I'm doing it for me and let them come to me as opposed to me doing it for them and let me come to them. I don't do that anymore so that that changed but the keto guido thing yeah, where I do think, i come in i was gonna say i think somewhere in this in the clip i was like i just started the keto diet i yeah i think yeah. i just started i think i just said i'm drinking vodka soda the keto guido or something like Vinny i told me i can drink it or something. yeah something yeah. like that Vinny guido the Vinny guido you know the keto keto guido and i think i just like danced around and i i don't know why i even said that right I, and i'm like it made no sense i've never that. put it in a, a version <laughs> of that 9-11 story since i wasn't in my i just it was only for that night Wow. That I'm I did. Glad. That's awesome that I made the clip, like the set that went viral. Dude, the set that went viral, I made it. Now, now let me ask you. So, oh, 
homeless pimp comes in with questions. Yes. <clears throat> um, I wasn't like a big blackout guy. Right. Like, you know, my nights have been spotty here and there. Um, there's only been like one night or two nights like in Vegas mm-hmm. that like I truly think back and like I don't remember like was that a dream mm-hmm. like one night I was like at a club and the chain smokers were performing right because I did Chippendales in Vegas I was there dude can, yeah front I row showed up I, front no, row that, that, we're not even being we're not even joking I actually oh, went shit. to the show <laughs> you, wait no you went to the show yes I did dude I was at your show because I was doing the comedy oh, cellar at the Rio you did it at the Rio right yeah but then what, did you actually come yeah I came to one of your shows <laughs> Did I know? <laughs> I don't think so. I was just I was sitting there in the back with a trench coat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I came, dude. Oh shit. Literally. I think I literally. Came. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was like just every weekend is like a fucking huge artist that comes to Vegas and like we all just party together. Mm-hmm. Vegas is a weird place cuz Did like, you like the chain smokers? Chain smokers are awesome. They're sick live. They're like they're I was just with them on 4th of July and they always like take shots and pull me on stage and shit. They're, uh. they're dope. I got a friend yeah. who his wife went to high school with the chain smokers and they've been like married for like years, beautiful couple, beautiful relationship. And he still like just can't find it in his will to ask if she ever like had sex with one oh, of the chain smokers. And I'm like, probably. dude, I would, I would never, I would just think about that all yeah. fucking they're ha- day. They're handsome. Yeah. I'd be like, did you, I, yeah. I think, I, I think like on my deathbed, I would just ask. I, like as I'm like just slowly dying, like which one did you suck? Which yeah. one's cock did you suck? Yeah, <laughs> probably the one that sings. He's cute. Yeah, yeah, he's cute. Yeah. He's cute. He's in shape. He yeah. sings. They're awesome. I know. But yeah, so just like one night, I think after they they DJed, I ended up at one of their after parties, and like I still don't know to this day, like if I was really there or it was a dream. Right, because I was, was blacked out, blacked out drunk. Yeah. But now, do you think because the keto, all that keto stuff, it didn't come from like drinking so much. It just was like. Do you just wake up one day and we're like, I'm not going to eat. I'm just going to go keto. No. So what happened was um, I would do this thing where during the winter time, I would just eat like all my mom's pasta and chicken cutlets. Like my whole life I was doing that. And I wasn't really getting fat. Um, cause you I was chubby, like, but still cute. Well, no, I was like 21. Like my whole life I was like doing this. And then like, if I had to just tone it up, I'd spend like two weeks in the gym and like, I'd be good again for yeah. the summer. So I tried to do that up until like my mid twenties and then that just stopped working. And right. I look, I looked in the mirror one day and I was like 200 pounds, 25% body fat. I have like before pictures where I was like, holy shit. You felt disgusted with yourself. Disgusted. By the way, 200 pounds and 25% body fat for me right now would be a fucking dream. <laughs> I mean, I would do anything. But I you're would, taller though. I'd kill my father to get that. <laughs> <laughs> you're taller though. I, I, you know, so being shorter, it was just, it made like a round pudgy kind of thing. Right. You get, it, It's on my Keto Guido Instagram page. But we'll post it right now. Yeah, post it. So I was doing that and... I tried like every diet in the world. I used to try like juice cleanses and fucking counting your calories Mm -hmm. and being vegetarian, all that shit. And like nothing worked. And then like through podcasts, I would listen to actually this first guy, his name is Vinny Tortorich and he was on Adam Carolla's show. Okay. And he was talking about just like eating like bacon and butter and steak. And I'm like, fuck that. I'm like, I can get behind that. He was shredded. I I love the shredded. Like, and you know, tell me like, just always talking about like the whole industry of sh- of food of like is being bullshit and saying that you can't eat steak and shit because I was raised like you can't eat steak and bacon. It's yeah, it's like good. bad for your heart. It's bad for you. Yeah. So I was like, all that's bullshit. So I'm like, let me look into this a little more. I started just cutting all the sugar and the carbs out myself. I dropped like so much weight right away. And then like, I'm like, oh shit, like I can keep going with this. Kept going with it. Kept going down the rabbit hole of like different podcasts. Are rabbits keto? Can you eat rabbit on keto? You can, but they're not that fatty. What about whole? Can you eat whole on keto? Booty hole? <laughs> ass is definitely... Hu- I'm asking if you're hungry for whole, is that keto friendly? <laughs> ass is definitely okay. keto, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I never heard it called whole. That's cool. Um, Chrissy Chaos. No, but funny thing <laughs> is that rabbit, you can't eat because like, you know that show Alone on Netflix? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, if they only are depending on rabbit, they're going to die. Really? What's it, the reason? It's too lean. Your body needs fat to survive. That's why whenever people talk shit about eating fat, I'm like, fat is probably the healthiest thing that you can eat. Now, when you eat it in conjunction with like cheeseburgers and french fries and processed oils and beer, it's not good for you. But those motherfuckers in the woods, 
when they're trying to literally life or death, they need fat or they'll die. Okay, so let's say so you the guy that I, kills the moose survives because he has fat. The ones that just living off of rabbits will die. Will die. So let's say me and you are going out to dinner tonight. I'm like, ah, I'm in the mood for I want to. Ju- yeah, I'm in the mood for whole. Obviously, I'm always in the mood for whole. Shout out, Joe, shout out, Joey Camasta. Um, um, <laughs> Definitely shout <laughs> out. Hungry for whole, Joey Camasta. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're reminding me of what's on this couch right now. Oh yeah, Joey stayed here for a little bit. This is a comfy couch and it's sticky. Comfy, comfy. Joe, we, Joey should cook for us. Okay, so it's a random night. I'm sorry. Okay, it's a yeah. random night. So we're going out to dinner. I, let's say I'm like, you know what, Vin. I, I want to go to a diner. I want to feel like we're back in New York and I want to go to a diner. What are you going to order? So the best part about the keto thing, which made it the only thing that I can stick with, is because I'm always in diners. I'm always in random restaurants. Yeah. I'm traveling on the road. I can always make that work. If I go, so for example, to answer your question, I would get like a double bacon cheeseburger with avocado with no bun. Okay. So like I'm full, I'm satisfied, I'm having fun, I'm eating like the glutton next to me that's no or, bun, no fries. No bun, no fries. What about vegetables or anything like that? Yeah, None of, of course. That. I mean, you can have vegetables. You just get shit. a side of veggies with it. I don't even need that, though, because the real sustenance and satiating food comes from the burger, Got it. not the bun. Got it. So everyone else is eating fries and burgers and french fries. I'm eating like the... So I still, you're still getting your like food fix. Right. Like you don't feel like you're dieting. The thing your body, the only thing your body ever needed was the two meat patties, the cheese, the yeah, bacon, and the avocado. It, exactly. But mentally, we want the bread because your your brain wants that because it's like an addictive drug. Right. But it doesn't need that. How long did it take you to break that? How long did your did it take for your brain to say I don't need bread anymore? Um, I think it takes like two weeks to form a habit. Right. I think that's like a fact. I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't a know. book or something. So I think this is like, not a factual show. Yeah. You give yourself <laughs> you give yourself like a good couple weeks of doing it and then you start to like the the key is when you make the shift is when you start to feel like shit when you do eat the bread. Got it. So like, you know, there's a shift where you're like, I don't want that because that's gonna make me feel not feel good. It usually happens in a couple of weeks. Well well they said and there's also a thing called the keto flu. Yeah. So no two questions. One, did you get that? Two, do you think there's people out there that thought that they had COVID nineteen but they really had the keto flu? <laughs> That could be. That could be. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe the keto flu people were patient zero. That's what I'm saying. There is no keto that's, flu. Yeah. It was all COVID. Well, that's what I want to ask. Do you think that what really happened is <laughs> Wuhan just started to go keto? <laughs> yeah. Wuhan, <laughs> is that like all bats are keto? There you go. You know? Wow. So, See, and you, pang- Fauci, so Dr. Fauci is an enemy of the state. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Fauci works for the dairy and bread well, industry. It's all fucking tied scumbag. In, it's all fucking tied in together because Here we go. Yes, big, zoom pharma, in on <laughs> big pharma. Big Sugar are definitely in bed together. Yes. Dr. Fauci, the CDC. The CDC, if you look up what to eat, they literally will tell you to eat um, vegetable oil. Like shit that, like corn oil and shit. That's like the worst shit for you. You don't want to eat that? No. Like that's like made in like a fucking lab. Like so what's why your co- would like my veins be okay with fried vegetable oil? So what's your cholesterol and blood pressure right now? The lowest it's ever been? It's like what it's always been. Right. Which is like not oh, I, when you take the blood test, it's not like over. It's, it's not like good. abnormally low. It's just like good. So I have high blood pressure, high cholesterol. You're telling me if I started eating bacon cheeseburgers right now without the bun, my cholesterol and blood pressure will go down. So that might not be true genetically. Your body is built different. So yeah. like I don't know if that's the reason. You know, you you might have that shit for other reasons. Right. But I do think that. Um, once everyone, if they ate what you just said for a prolonged period of time and cut out all the other shit i feel like your body goes back to like a a status of where it's supposed to be right all your levels go back to where they're supposed to be right uh, not not if you have genetically are prone to having high blood pressure or high cholesterol i love pancakes can i have pancakes on keto in my cookbook there are like keto pancakes but like it's like there's a lot of shit made from like almond flour like you can eat. there are substitutes for all the food that you love there's like i have like keto lasagna and shit it's like made with zucchini you and you know? eat that you eat all that i do but like that stuff is more for when you just want your fix like i'm going fucking crazy i want italian food then like you fry up like the zucchini pasta and so stuff when's like the that. last time you've eaten like chicken parm with pasta like the regular way have you not so, done that in years no no i i do that i do that often like a couple times a month but what majority what, is keto though majority is keto majority is high fat low carb 
that's like my way of life. What's up, everybody? It's CBB, Chrissy Bearbottom. These shorts I'm wearing right now from Bearbottom, some of the best, most comfortable shorts I've had. You got big plans this summer? You got a big, fat, thick cock? You want people to see this summer? Because I know I want to see it. And the way I'm going to see it is through Bearbottom shorts. I'm doing this ad on edibles. Uh, Bearbottom's lineup of versatile everyday clothing for guys. It's for fucking guys. Guys! Yes, I love guys! <laughs> it's for guys! Oh, the thing went off. It went, it's for guys, and they're here, and they got your summer fucking shorts ready. <laughs> Yeah, you get your fucking you get your fucking clothes from Bear Bottom, you scumbag, communist pig piece of shit. That's where you get your clothes from. If you knew it was good for you, if you don't get your clothes from Bear Bottom, then I'm gonna fuck you in your ass. <laughs> I swear to Christ, I'll bang you in the ass and yell, "I'm Team DeSantis." If you don't get your clothes, we're gonna get some notes on this. Head. <laughs> Are you barebacking while you're while you're wearing bare bottom? Then you're in the fog, just like me, dude. Here, here's where I need you to go. I swear to God. People better start buying shit from bare bottom clothing. <laughs> Look how many reviews they have. <laughs> oh shit. They got 10,000 five star reviews. Go leave reviews on their shit and tell them we sent you fucking losers. And tell them. <laughs> Yo, bare bottom. No, seriously, their clothes are sick and legit. <laughs> Yo, go to barebottomclothing.com. That's barebottomclothing.com. Put in the promo code chaos. That's B E A R, like a bear and a hot, fat gay guy. Like the animal and the gay guys. Bottom ass clothing. Oh, bear bottom. like the animal. <laughs> bottomclothing.com. Use the promo code chaos. Barebottomclothing.com. That's barebottomclothing.com. Use the promo code chaos for free shipping. Dude, this fucking meat. <laughs> Piedmontese.com. Pied, P I E D M O N. T E S E dot com, Piedmontese dot com. If you, it's fucking steak, is what it is. It's steak in bowls. It's steak, dude. And guess what? Me and Chaz Pomentary, me and Chaz Pomentary did a bit for their YouTube, for Piedmontese's YouTube, where we cooked the steak. We cooked the, the great quality meat. And then on, we were filming it for real. And then Chaz just kept yelling his wife to shut the <laughs> fuck up. And then I deleted the footage. <laughs> Chaz was fucking telling us what to shut up because she was telling how to cook the burger and we put it all in the ad for the company and then we lost the footage. <laughs> Piedmontese, you got fucking nice meat. Why did you bring it out here to West Hollywood? <laughs> Prime grade tenderness with a fraction of the fat, 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 and calories and saturated fat. So you fat fucks <laughs> can, eat, can eat meat from Piedmontese, you jelly donut pieces of shit. Healthy beef, unlike mine, which has HPV, healthy beef, similar in macronutrients compared to Atlantic salmon. <laughs> Atlantic <laughs> salmon. <laughs> your laptop died again. <laughs> Oh, oh my no. dude, your laptop died again in the middle of an ad read. <laughs> Is the camera still on? Yeah. Yo, go to Piedmontese.com. <laughs> put in the promo code chaos. All right. So Piedmontese, remember, it's healthy beef, similar in macro proteins compared to Atlantic salmon and chicken breast and all other naturally extremely tender red meat. And you're going to get the 25% off discount if you use the promo code CHAOS exclusively at www.piedmontese.com or call 1-800-414-3487. Just, live, just think like that. Like today I had avocado toast. That was stupid. Too high in carbs. You could have just done away with the toast and added some eggs. That would have been my breakfast. Okay, so what I actually did was, if I'm being honest with you, because uh, I forgot Homeless Pimp has this on tape, is I actually had avocado and toast with poached eggs, which is not that bad, but then I ordered a side of pancakes yeah. with syrup, but they were multigrain. Yeah. But it still doesn't matter. No. But I didn't have milk or sugar in my coffee. Yeah. See, what I would do if, like, if you wanted the pancakes, like, I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to eat those pancakes on Sunday. 
Okay. I can ma- I can survive until Sunday. Right. Like I have that much willpower. You know right. what I mean? You don't. No. <laughs> You're like no. I need it right now. You no, know. <laughs> That's how I used to be though. You used to be just. But like the that. way to I'm talking about the way to transition. Right. Is to because no one's ever gonna be like I'm keto. Like people, you're gonna fail if you try that. Like I'm keto right now. Never gonna have sugar again. But if I'm saying that I can give, I can last till fucking Sunday. Sunday comes around. You have your pancakes. You're like, oh, all right, that was fun. Now I want to get back to feeling good. Go back good. to thing. Yeah. So if you went to In and Out Burger today, you would get it in a lettuce wrap. Mm-hmm. That's all you, or just eat it. No, I bun. don't look. I look at bread now like right. it's like a like it's cupcakes, like it's pancakes, like, like it's just don't do it. Like it's a treat that I would love to have. I know it's delicious, but I'm gonna have that another yeah. time. Like you go to in and you go to in and burger, yeah. and then you, if they give you the bun, we'll just draw You throw the bun at a homeless person. Yeah, and then they'll but they need they'll, it. They'll There's eat so it, many out there. Exactly. Let them eat it with the sauce. There's plenty of those. And then okay, so that's interesting. So so tonight. So so okay. So let me ask you. Let me ask you. Um um, like tonight, yeah. what are you gonna have for dinner? Hold. Can I leave one second? Hold on. Where are you going? Oh, you can show me the cookbook. Look at this. Look at that keto. Look at his ass. Zoom in on his ass. There is a dude. Look at that. Wow, Vinny. And honestly, man, I haven't seen Vin in a couple of years. He looks. He looks. Well, first of all, it's interesting because since he's gone keto now. He doesn't. He, he. You can't even tell he's Italian anymore. He kind of looks like a sexy terrorist. <laughs> so yeah, this is. A, oh. oh, this is the steak that I'm defrosting right now. Okay. So I wake up in the morning and I'm like, "What do I want to have for dinner?" Oh, yeah, be careful. It's like. Oh, I, sorry. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, so we it's should put an- on a couple coasters. It's. Oh, sorry. So it's Angus. I forgot that keto makes you gay. Grass. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, um, you need coasters when you're keto. Uh, well, it's a lot of meat. Am I back in frame? Okay, cool. So it's Angus beef, 100% grass-fed, all-natural Angus beef from the butcher shop, Sprouts Farmer's Market. Is there anything specific about those that type of beef, this type of market? No, I'm just saying that like, um, I woke up this morning and I took out a piece of meat because like I had to, not this meat, I had to defrost it to plan what I was going to eat for dinner. So to eat for dinner tonight, I'm going to eat a ribeye with greens. So every night, it's like a different form of like meat. And greens, but the thing is, is that that's a fatty piece of meat. Right. It's not a filet mignon. That's right. bullshit. That might as well discard that shit. There's no fat on it. Remember, you I think I, fat. Remember, I told you about the the TV show Alone. Yeah. So you need the fat. Yeah, that's filet mignon is rabbit. Basically, yeah. It's filet just like a lean. It's like a lean piece of meat. So, so okay. So then, what do you have for breakfast? Though, do you have eggs and, ve- and vegetables and all that for breakfast? Um, right now, so I also do something called intermittent fasting. Sure. So I don't really eat a lot during the day. If I eat something, I'll have like eggs and bacon, um, or I'll just drink like an iced coffee with a little bit of heavy cream. I'll drink an espresso. But see, this is my question, Vin. Is like, how did you get to this? Because you're, listen, you're a fat piece of shit Italian. From, I am. From the That's fi- why from I'm like Brooklyn, that. Staten Island, like I am. Like I'm yeah. a fat scumbag, dirtbag. I want to just suck. I would suck sauce out of Satan's ass. Yeah. I just want sauce and pasta and cheese and you're just so easily being like oh i'm gonna do intermittent fasting i only eat, i only i eat meat i eat one native american a month because it's organic and i'm like yeah. what about <laughs> pasta and bread native. and fucking knots dude you don't need garlic knots anymore i think it's just like you have to make a decision like what like do you want just like the taste of the food versus like how you look how you feel a lot of this shit comes from the way i look so look like great. I, I well it takes I can't get that by eating knots. It's I can't. just not going to happen anymore. Yeah. It's not going to happen with a K. With a K. No, no. Me so, and Vinny are, he, Vinny's the new host of the show. The, the puns. <laughs> so, no, like, I, it just, it's just not going to happen. Like, that's, that's the number one decision. If I had abs and I woke up, I was a genetic freak that just, like, had abs with eating pizza like a lot of my friends, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Right. So, but I'm happy. You don't need to use, this, you don't need to use steroids like the situation. He probably has used steroids in his life. I mean, I don't dude, know if don't he still a, does, but I don't think he does anymore. But you don't have arms like that. Exactly. By the way, TT Jerry, uh, Vinny, the real Vinny. Well, this is the real Vinny, the fake Vinny, uh, Jasmine, um, she, transgender uncle TT Jerry, as you know from show twenty five years in prison, said if situ- Mike's situation was in her prison, he would have taken that ass down. He oh said really? That, he said that for sure. He would have eaten Mike's ass if he wanted that to get through yeah. prison. So I if, think- if he ever, you know, just I'd like if you can relay that to him. She specifically said. Tell him that for sure he, I would have got his ass eaten. I'll tell him. Yeah? Yeah, I'll tell him. I don't know if he was gay for the stay. 
<laughs> That's what they call well, that. S- speaking of gay for the say, yeah. there's a lot because listen, I, I and my show come out last week. The the backyard bar show. I kissed I kissed a guy on the lips right on True TV. Oh, sick. You know me. I'm like uh, you know I'm, I I I'm Chrissy in the closet until my dad dies. That's mm-hmm. how I roll. You shout get, out to Joey Camasta. Shout out Joey Camasta. You get pretty gay with Paulie D. Yeah. on the show. So like, what's that about? Like, if I gave you guys some ecstasy or mm-hmm. you know spiked your steak with you know a little bit of something. Do you think you and Paulie could ever get into a relationship, or what do you think? Um, well, we are. Like, we're actually bromitted. Mm-hmm. We got married in Vegas by Elvis on the show. So you're in a gay marriage. That's actually well, true. Well, we're bromitted. What does that mean? It's like a new thing that we kind of like invented. Oh, it's, so it's not like a le- There's no le- You're not legally married. No, to it's him. like if it's your bro and you want to get like bromitted, like committed, like bromitted to him. Okay. Um, you know, it's just your way of saying like, you're my bro. I love you. Right. Like, let's get married. Like I wore a veil and everything. But, um, I like that you were the woman because I would be the woman in the yeah, marriage. Yeah, still. of course you got to be. You got to be the woman. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think we're just like we we just always like fucked around like that, like not like that, <laughs> but like we fucked around like you know where we just like just say a bunch of gay things to each other <laughs> and we're okay with it, and I don't care. Like, yeah, who cares? No, like, dude, you know? but, but that's the thing. Like, as for me, like TT Jerry has told me, you came here to fuck me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, dude, that'd be sick. This is a you imagine point. I held him down right now and fucking fully raped him? <laughs> <laughs> you would, yeah, is, Pimp would just, he would zoom this in This is a porn. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, because because T.T. Jerry told me, because I was like, yo, do you think I'm gay? Like, you know, people always call me gay. And she was like, no, because you're so open. Yes. Uh, and so, like, crazy. But, you know, she's like, obviously, like, you know, with Jasmine, you know, you know, my niece. And, you know, you hooked up with the girls before. She's like, you're so open and comfortable about acting gay that that's not what a straight guy in the closet would do a straight guy in the closet would go the opposite and be like i fucking hate gays yes those are the people that are gay yeah she's like either you're embracing it or or you're just fully out of the closet so i would never look at i as a matter of fact that's how it used to be like when i was playing high school basketball you know it was kind of like you know when you got on the team it's like you need to do some gay shit so like we knew like i'd be like let me see your dick and if you were like no i'd be like what are you fucking gay (laughs) put your cock in my mouth (laughs) that's how i know i can trust you you can suck dick comfortably you're not gay if i started blowing you right now you know that like no we're not we're not gay gay. you just i just needed heavy cream you said it's keto (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) um yeah look speaking of gay andrew santino's calling me right now hold on andrew hold on baby hold on hold on don't say anything crazy you're on the you're on the chrissy chaos podcast right now my guest is Vinny guadagnino the keto guido what do you have to say to him i love that dude bro Uh, big fan dude. dude i like Jim Taylor, he's saying he's saying here. Vinny's saying he's a, a big fan of yours. Do you like the, Do you like him because he has red hair? What do you like about him, Vinny? Oh, um, yeah, I like his red hair. I like he's funny. Yes, and he's like soft spoken. He's soft. Yeah, well, he's well because we're talking about being gay. We were just talking about being gay. How gay. him and Paulie are gay, and I said that kind of me and you are gay. And um, I don't know. Well, why do you say kind of? What, what's kind of? What do you mean? I, I think we're in or we're out. You know, we don't. You don't. You, you gotta don't put fully your legs commit. In the hot tub. You just jump in. You might as well. You're gonna get wet. So yeah. Get yeah. Well, yeah. We, I mean, we've had anal sex before, so. <laughs> 100%. But that makes you not you gay. That makes you just really open about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Vinny's saying that makes us not gay. Yeah. And we have. Uh, we also don't think Bobby's the right guy for you. And we're we're like get, looking to get Bob. Vinny said Bobby needs to go on keto soon, and he will die. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying. Hey, wait. This is really fun. Ask Vin if he'll uh, if he'll be um, his health and, and wellness consultant. We'll we'll have him on the podcast because we did last week. We just shot a podcast about Bobby's weight problems and it's getting really bad. Yeah. He, they couldn't. He went shopping and uh, they couldn't fit him in the pants because it were they were too he was too round and not tall enough. It was really. Sad. Yeah. Well, he's a human dumpling. What do you think? Could could they? Yeah. Well, first of all, yeah, I live in L.A., so whenever you want to do that, I can come through. But I, if he listened to me or if anybody – seriously, if anybody listened to me and, like, followed my guidelines, yeah. which, like, wouldn't be that hard, I can make anybody lose, like, 30 to 50 pounds. Right. right. Like, 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 like in two months. We're really doing this because I want to flatten out the noodle. He's a little too thick. We need to have yeah. – yeah. I'm fully con- isn't but, it, like, like, and I'm not a trainer. I'm not a doctor. But, but I can make somebody skinny he, in a month or you two. You can make somebody skinny. But let me ask you this, Vinny, real quick, and then I'll let Andrew go. Can you do it with like Chinese food? Because like, <laughs> can, do Asians do keto or no? You can. Bobby's. A, if you, you get like a little more creative, you can. Yeah. You're gonna have challenges okay. if you like go to your local takeout menu okay. and shit. But you can. Yeah. Yeah. He just asked that Bobby like gets COVID tested every single time because obviously the Asian community and all that stuff with the COVID. Ask that. So we're just. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna name it. We're gonna rename our show Takeout. We should have called it Takeout. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, baby. I love you so much. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye. Bye. Go ahead. Good question, Pimpy. Deep. <clears throat> so I have... Pimp has autism. Really? Yep. Cool. I have, um, like, my mind is like a, a washing machine, like, to where I do get, like, obsessed with, like, my thinking. Like, I'm an Let me just ask you real quick. Do you, did you... Was that the example you always use, or did you think a washing machine, because we were just talking about Bobby Lee, who's Korean? Um, no comment. No, nah, yeah, okay. it's, it's what I've always, it's what I've always used. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, so I got like an overthinking mind and shit. So like, I'm always like prone to having anxiety uh -huh. in like stressful circumstances. So it doesn't help going into the reality show sure. that's made to make you anxious. Yeah. Like it's designed to yeah. drive you crazy. Yeah. And you mix me into it. That again is like an overthinker and and shit like right. that. So, um, it definitely contributed to having more anxiety. Like when I'm in that scenario. Did you think when you first auditioned for the Jersey Shore? Did you think there's no I'm not gonna get this or like what what happened the day you left the audition? What, do you remember what you were thinking? So funny you said that thing about your set going viral when you were drunk. Yeah. So like I'm the man when I'm drunk. You're the man when you're not drunk. Nah, nah, it's debatable. To certain people, like if you know me, I am. Yeah. But to like a random person on the street, I'm a fucking wet mop, lame <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Like, and it's not me doing that on purpose. Just it's your just personality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, you're anxious. I'm introverted. No, I'm not anxious. Like, it's the anxious scenarios, like yeah. the show. That's another misconception. Who the fuck is this? Who is it? Some like shade company. Really? Yeah, because I'm getting a shade upstairs. Oh, okay. Um, it's the. I use blinds to go. <laughs> is that a. Oh, there's fun. No, yeah, yeah. No, I maybe just they to will tell, you, tell you that I'm a piece of shit. But yeah, no, another like um, misconception is that like people saw me on the show talking about anxiety. So I think they think I'm walking around in a constant state of anxiety, which mm -hmm. I'm not. It's mm -hmm. certain circumstances that will make that happen. Right. Like a lack of sleep. Sure. And, and, you know, it starts with physical and then it turns into mental. I bet you your diet has helped your mental health tremendously. It does because, again, that's another physical thing that would contribute to having anxiety. So when you ask, like, why aren't you eating garlic knots? Number one was for my physical and number two is for my mental. Right. I, if I ate like that, I would probably put myself in like a 20% more position to be depressed. Got it. Got it. See, because, you know, it's interesting you say that about anxiety. We do a segment here on the show, Anxiety Tuesday, and I do an Instagram thing about Anxiety Tuesday. I used to do it every week, and people associate me as well, you know, with anxiety. But the truth is, it's like, I don't have Why do they associate you with anxiety? Because I always do this thing called anxiety. But is it like you being funny? Or I'm what? being funny and okay. silly, but people will reach out and be like, yo, you oh, have anxiety, shit. you're so yeah. wound up, blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, it's like when I look at like the older me that I used to have so much anxiety. I, I hate that person so much because there's like a, once I had my kids, it's like there's like a narcissism that's associated with anxiety. Like everything's about me or I'm going to die or me, 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 me. And it's like, there's not, an, I only have a finite amount of energy each day. I don't want to spend it on being an anxious person all the time. Like I, anybody I see with anxiety now, I know everyone's different, but I'm like, if there's a narcissism attached to it that you have to let go of, be like, yeah. yo, this world does not revolve around you. And when you have children, you realize like, yo, be nervous about something if you have a good ass reason to be nervous about something. So, and I think you're right. Food, I noticed, you know, like two nights ago, dude, two nights ago, I ate fettuccine Alfredo with grilled chicken, not fried. Um, uh, grilled chicken makes it okay. <laughs> garlic knots, garlic knots. Um, tiramisu and a Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. And I woke up in the middle of the night at like 4 30, well, 3 30, 4 30, chest pounding. I miss my family. I'm out here for another week or two. Miss my family so much. Like, started to get like emotional about like my career choices in my life. And I know that that was nearly 100% because of the food I put in my body, because the it is like a drug, right? That's yeah. true when people say bad food is like, it's like drugs. Like a high and a low. It's it's messing with your brain chemistry. Yeah. So, but for me, we would, I was just talking about my friend Don DePetta today, shout out Donnie D, about how I feel like I, so many times in my life in, I've gotten myself to where I thought my body looked good, my blood pressure, cholesterol was down, and I looked in the mirror and I said, you're not gonna go back to this, you're not gonna go back to your old way. And then a month later, I'm back, to my old ways and just having me now. I mean, dude, when we were out in LA in March, I was on my fitness pal every day, working mm. out every day. Now I haven't even thought of, I haven't done that in three weeks and I've put on all the weight that I lost. It's right back on. 
mm-hmm. and I feel as unhealthy as I did a year ago. Mm-hmm. So why, what, what can I do that to like stop that? Because you just did it. I th- Hello Fresh, everybody. Hello fucking Fresh is one of those companies that I use. I use it. I love their food. Okay, they got all these different kinds of meals. I freaking cook, baby. I cook with HelloFresh. All the products taste good. I give them to my kids. I give it to my dog. I make my I make stuff in in the kitchen at HelloFresh. I leave it in the middle of the street and watch all the people who are starving come out and try to race for it like a new version of Hunger Games and I film it and I put it on my YouTube. I'm just kidding. HelloFresh is a great company. I love HelloFresh. I really genuinely do. Truthfully, what because what's good about HelloFresh is <clears throat> they're always sending you different kinds of meals and different kinds of variety of meals. They're always delivered on time. Um, and I really had no idea how to cook until HelloFresh came into my life. And it's 28% cheaper than just grocery shopping. So do it. All right. So here's what you got to do. Go to HelloFresh.com slash chaos14. That's HelloFresh.com slash chaos14 and use the code chaos14. You're going to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's like insane. So you're going to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. All you got to do is go to Hello. All you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com. That's HelloFresh.com slash chaos14 and use the promo code chaos14. Go eat that HelloFresh, America's number one meal plan kit thing. Guess what, baby? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. I just took edibles, okay? So I'm going to need to call BetterHelp because I never really have taken edibles that much, but I did them for my Patreon episode on my podcast that you're listening to, and I just feel like I'm going to need help. This is on YouTube. This is on YouTube. Yo, BetterHelp, you need to come help me. <laughs> What better help is, is you're a fucking nutbag like me. If you're going to go postal, dude, if you have any type of mental health issue, instead of taking a shit on the F train in New York City, go to BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com. Go to BetterHelp dot com. Take a look at all your therapists. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take a look at all the, th- uh, all the therapists that they got on there, all different types of, you know, people to talk to, whatever your mental illness is, they can talk. Even if you don't have a mental illness, you just want to talk to someone, you're looking for therapy out there, betterhelp.com. Put in the promo code chaos. You're going to get 10% off your first month. So just put in C-H-A-O-S. You're going to get 10% off your first month. Uh, go to betterhelp.com. It's the right thing to do. And ask them at betterhelp.com why your lips feel salty when you're on edibles. You said slash and the code? Betterhelp.com did you? I can't. slash chaos okay. and then put in the promo code chaos. You did. Okay. I, I know. I think I, I, I spaced out there. No, I, I think I betterhelp.com slash chaos promo code chaos. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like I needed to put parameters and rules around my life mm-hmm. that would elect, that I can follow so that I follow through on this way of life. Got it. Okay. Because I... The same way you just mentioned my fitness pal and all that shit and people what why people get on diets is because everybody wants something that they can follow that right. they can understand that's like a rule that's like like a like boundaries or rules that are set in place right. to follow because you need that otherwise you're going to fall off you're like yes. fuck it I'm going to eat the fettuccine and and, and the whatever yeah. the garlic knots my rules are different than a 30 day cleanse or something like that I have general mm-hmm. rules that I that I implement into my overall life. Right. And I follow them every day. Okay. And those rules are also very easy to follow. They're very doable. And they allow me to eat the food that I want, like like good tasting food, like not like steamed asparagus with grilled chicken. Yeah. And be full and never be hungry. But what are the rules? Never hungry, dude. What are the rules? Isn't that amazing? If you were never hungry? Yeah, yeah. You gotta follow the rules. If If you follow the rules... You wouldn't be hungry. But what are the rules? The rules are to intermittent fast. So pick a fasting window throughout the day. How many hours? Like eight hours. But you can eat one meal a day, whatever you want. But like, let's just call it eight hours, the, the, the minimum. Okay? Okay. So you, you, you pick that window. That's rule number one. All right? Within that window, you have to eat a lot. And you have to eat like satiating food. 
you can't just eat like a bag of chips because eight hours later you're going to be fucking hungry. Right. Or you can't just eat a slice of pizza. Right. That's where the keto food comes in because keto food, like that steak that I just showed you, or the eggs and the bacon and the heavy cream, that's going to fill me up during that eight hours. Right. So filling fatty food okay. during the eight hours. No sugar, no grains, no carbs. If you eat a little bit, like sometimes at night I eat like a piece of 88% dark chocolate just to give me like a little bit of a sweetness thing. Yeah. Like a little trip, whatever it works for you. A little piece though, not the whole bar. You don't want more than that. It's 88% chocolate. It tastes like shit. Yeah, yeah. But you're just doing it because it's like, oh, chocolate. Yeah. Anything at that point. Right. Whole would, would make, would fulfill Seriously. your sweet tooth. Whole's at keto. At that point. Yeah. yeah. So in the eight hours, that specific food. You will not be hungry for the other 16 yeah. hours of the day. Real quick, You'll hold on. I just want to say, I just want to say real quick, hold on. What? Just speaking of whole, just want you guys to go to ChrisDComedy.com. I got stand-up dates coming all over. We just put Miami, the Dania Improv, on sale. Um, we have we have uh, uh, October 23rd, the Fox Theater at Foxwoods, Connecticut. First show sold out. Second show we've added. Go get that. And then we got a bunch of other. We got West Palm Beach is going on sale soon. Phoenix going on sale. We got a whole bunch of shows. Philadelphia is almost all sold out, but we added some more seats. So go get the seats in Philly in August. ChristyComedy.com um, if you're hungry for whole. Go ahead. Back to you. Okay, so, so you following so far? Yes. Okay. So, so wait. So the r first rule is pick your fasting window. Pick your fasting window. I'm going to say on my fasting window to be meaning my fasting window meaning when I can eat. Yes. I'm going to say noon to eight. Okay. Is that good? That's fine. That's fine. That works. I don't care if it was what, at any time. I don't care if it was midnight till eight. Was that eight hours? Eight a.m. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, just reversed. You know what I mean? If yeah. That fits your lifestyle better. Yeah. But you're spending, the key is to, in the 24-hour day, spend that 16, 18 hours not eating. Drinking water and black coffee. Yes. But yeah. now, people are going to be like, what? That's crazy. That's too many hours. Not if you're eating the right food within the eight hours you're supposed to you're eat. you're satiated. That buys you the 16 hours. Okay. That steak I'm eating tonight will buy me the 16 hours off. I won't even be hungry till the next afternoon. So that's rule number one. Yeah, you have to eat a lot. A lot in the intermittent. Big system. fucking, and who, that's why I, I'm, I love this and it works for me because I'm, I'm, ta I'm making a little bit of a sacrifice, but I'm also gaining like a sick reward, which is like a huge meal. Right. Like that steak and vegetables, I'm going to eat a lot. My breakfast are gangster. I got like four eggs, bacon, avocado. Like I'm doing- No egg it. whites. No, egg, real eggs. Is it, now, is that because of the recent stuff like with white people? Like, why aren't you doing egg whites? Because of the privilege? Yeah, white privilege, don't eat egg so whites. So that's why- Egg whites in are order racist. To, I was going to say, in yeah. order to stop the Asian hate, we bring back the yellow. Yes. Go ahead. Exactly. In the eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so we got the rule so far. That's rule also, number one we got. No, oh. the, the fasting. The Fasting the, is the, number the one. The fasting window. What you eat in the fasting window. That's number rule two. number two. No sugar, no carbs, fatty, okay. satiating okay. food. Okay. Meat and greens. Okay. With the fat on it. Yeah. So you're satiated, right? Right. Another thing too is that outside of your fasting window is when I would like you to exercise. Okay. In so, the 16 hours, I'm not eating. In the 16 hours, you're not eating. You have plenty of time. Jump on the Peloton or a bike or so go to I the gym. So if I want to do 12 to 8, go hit the gym at 10.30. 100%. At 12 o'clock, have a protein shake. That's where I'm starting off. Or you don't even do protein shakes. You could, but like That's you gotta be careful bullshit. of protein shakes because a lot of them are just like smoothies. Right. If you go to like the gym and get a protein shake, there's gonna be so much sugar in there. Is that. there a keto protein shake that you recommend, or do you do protein shakes at all? Sometimes I tend not to, um, but you can kind of make one if you got like a zero sugar protein powder. It would probably not taste good because what makes protein shakes taste good is like bananas and yeah. like sugary peanut so you butter. You can't eat bananas at all. No. But can you have almond butter? Yes. Not peanut butter. You can eat peanut butter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The key is to like look at the label. Can you just do it for me? The key is just, just, I am, I'm doing it right <laughs> now. The key is to look at the label and just eat the most quality ingredients you can. So like peanut butter should be made of peanuts. That's it. Almond butter should be made of almonds. Right. But the word, it, it, they make it so hard to just navigate this that most of the peanut butter is like having Nutella. Yeah. Because there's so much sugar you go, in it. You go look on the back of a Skippy thing, there's a hundred ingredients in it. Yeah. God. And sugar. And sugar. It's unnecessary just, so, to, to, just to taste good. But still, even when listening to you say that, there still had to be, like when you looked in the mirror that day and thought that you were just a fat, you thought you looked like Danny DeVito. Yeah, you, I did. But, 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 but like how did you stuck with it from that moment on? Like something had to have snapped in you. Yeah, I, I saw results. 
You still have results almost instantly. Result, well, not instantly, but like results within like a couple week time or whatever. Results are your biggest motivator. Sure. Because if you get results, you're like, oh shit, I want this is working. I want to see where I can take this next. Now you're getting more results. Now you're getting more, you know, and then you just feed into it. Right. Wait, I'm not done with the rules. Okay. Okay. So you got your the window. Okay. Now, by the way, this is not how I started doing this. This is my opinion based on me personally doing this. What I recommend for the average person that really wants to fucking hook this up. I started just not eating sugar and carbs. I wasn't you just cut bread out. Yeah, I wasn't fasting. Well, it's more than bread. It's everything in the labels. It's all sugar and right. pasta and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. I was basically eating like salami and cheese. Yeah, all day, every day. For, yeah. And I loved it because I'm Italian. I like salami Can and cheese. Can you eat beef jerky? Hell yeah. Okay. Without sugar, but most of them have sugar in it. Most of them have sugar. It has yeah. to say zero sugar. Yeah. Can, so, you eat the, can you eat the egg white bites from Starbucks in the morning? They have sugar, They have carbs in them because like it's like flour that they inject yeah. in them and shit. But like, you know, it's, it's I not- will like if I'm like on the road. Because by the way, I wanna, like, I'm not keto right now. That's a whole other... What do you mean? Okay. So you're just a guido? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a guido, dude. That, that's a whole other... Like, this, do you just feel like we've been lied to for an hour? He's not keto right now, dude. <laughs> All right, let me clarify. Yeah, clar- what yeah. the... What is happening? Um, that's a whole other conversation, but basically, what is the word keto? The, the word keto means be, is short for ketosis. Okay. Ketosis is when you're body has absolutely no sugar in it okay and you're switching your fuel source from glucose sugar to fat okay and people do it not just to lose weight people do it like um it's like a a preferred diet for like people who are epileptic who are having seizures Mm -hmm. autistic um pimp pimp navy seals do it because it will give them like less seizures because it's a it's a way you're switching energy sources in your body so it's like you're running from like 87 and on the gas station to like premium got it you know what i mean that's right. why people do it for like performance right because it's like a different kind there's less yeah. inflammation in your yeah. brain and your body whatever yeah that's what ketosis gas prices are through the roof by the way yes joe that, biden's fault Go that's ahead. what ketosis is <laughs> yes egg whites <laughs> that's what ketosis is when you when you're doing that right so yeah. i might be in ketosis right now i might not be if i ate an onion yesterday it would knock me out of ketosis where I am... You can't have onions on keto? There's sugar in it. It's glycemic. There's sugar in it. Yeah. So where I am... Can right I have peppers? Uh, I think peppers are glycemic. You'd have to... There's something called a glycemic index that shows like it. how much yeah, sugar is in shit. Um, so my point is that I'm not always walking around in ketosis. I'm still the keto guido because I'm always living a very low carb, low sugar, yeah. high fat way of life. Yes. But I might not be technically scientifically in ketosis. If I did like a week straight of making sure there were like no onions, no tomatoes, and I don't live my life like that. I'm a human. You've I never lived your life like that. Even for I had, no, so, sometimes I do. Sometimes if I'm like I need to get shredded, like if I'm doing Chippendales, I'm like fully in ketosis keto because I just don't want to fuck around. Yeah. And 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 that works too. Right. But as a general rule, like the rules that I'm talking about right now, I wouldn't recommend like to people that like you have to be in ketosis and you have to like pee on strips and make sure that you're in ketosis to lose weight. Right. If you do the fasting and then the general low carb, high fat way of life. If I just stopped eating desserts and literally just stopped eating bread, if I stopped eating pizza and burgers with the bun on it, I would begin to lose weight immediately. You would, depending on what else you're eating, because the, the, the problem isn't that. It's the hidden sugars. Right. It's when you think that you're going to get like a salad from like the local New York salad place and they put the dressing on it and you just turned your salad into a dessert. That's what happened. Or if you're drinking orange juice in the morning right. or if you have a fucking protein bar, Loaded. it might as well be like a Snickers bar. That's where you run into a lot of the problems. Right. So you want to eat natural. Fo- so would you be able to, is celery keto? Yes. Would you be that's able just like to, eating air. Would you be able to send me a list of foods? <laughs> Keto Guido cookbook, dude. Keto Guido cookbook. There's a I, whole list and like before, because a recipe is a recipe. Like you don't want to be bothered with that. But like the beginning of Keto Guido cookbook, I made sure I told them, I'm like, this has to be like a, a manual for people to follow. There's like a whole like grocery list, what to take away, what to add. And th- these general rules that I'm following, uh, telling you about. Right, so the Keto Guido cookbook, people can find that anywhere. Go do that. Is watermelon keto? No. 
So you can't have watermelon, even though, because that's another thing with my fitness pal, is I was concentrating very much on calories. I was like, oh, yeah. 2,000 calories a day. And I was getting some, most of the days I was getting to the 2,000 calories or a little bit uh, above, but I'd work out, but I wasn't losing weight. It's because I was probably still, calories is a like, so I don't know, I wasn't I losing believe, weight. I do believe, some, some real like keto, like nutritionists and scientists don't believe in the whole calories in, calories out thing. They think that just going keto is like the way. And that, you know, for example, like if you had the watermelon, it might like spike your hormones and those hormones might like make you store extra fat that a keto, Full of hormones that right like now. a keto food wouldn't do. So I, I do believe in calories as well. So I mix the two of them together and guess what you're doing by the 16 hours of not eating? What? You're eating less calories. Got it. Yeah, well, we, well, look, so today, in the moment you think like, holy shit, this fucking state, if you see my meals on the Keto Guido Instagram page, you're going to be like, how are you lose weight? Like, bro, shredded because that might be, I might be only eating see it a little bit Two, no, I might not be eating. I tried girls. I'm only eating two <laughs> meals a day. So if I have two meals a day that are pretty big, hefty, yeah. fatty meals, yeah. they're big, they're, they're calorie dense, but I'm not, that buys me not eating all those other, I'm, I'm still in a caloric deficit. God. And I'm exercising in those other because hours. the calories are it's just not that many calories of what you're eating, even though it's dense. Com- compared like to this steak is how many calories? Probably a lot, probably a thousand. Or but more. it's all but but it's but it's, it's going to be like my only eating. meal. Yeah, that so that and my you'll breakfast. You'll still be under two thousand calories for the day because that's all you're eating today. Right. You uh, haven't eaten anything yet today. No, I just had my the coffee with heavy cream. Yeah, coffee with heavy cream. Yeah, and, and that's ca- good. There's, there's like a couple calories, like thirty calories in there. But you're not even hungry, to be honest. Like your no, body's because trained like now. yesterday I ate a lot. Again, another fatty meal. My body is trained like that. Did you exercise today yet? Yes, I did. Uh, I, I have a gym upstairs. Like, but it's like a digital gym. I'll show you later. Ooh, yeah. But uh, there's another rule. Can I tell you another rule? Yeah, tell me okay. the other rule. And by the way, I just want to say real quick that many. This just, is a boring podcast. No, this is okay. fantastic. I just want to say before the third rule that you have said time at times like throughout this podcast that maybe you're not always in ketosis. Yeah. But you are always in ketosis. Always in ketosis and always a guido. And always a guido. You're always yeah. a cute guido. Yeah. Ketosis. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that should be my podcast name, ketosis. Ketosis. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yes. Um, Take it. Okay, so the other rule yeah. is that I would, again, give myself... Depends on how, depending on how you want to do it, the one cheat meal, right? Okay. Out on like a Sunday or whatever. Or if you want to like spread it out throughout the week to do that too, if you can handle that. I like doing like the one cheat meal because that's, that's where the, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Like the normalcy and the human comes in. Because if someone just gives you like a fuck, you, you need to fuck around. Right. You need to fuck off the human You need some, a goal to look what forward to. What are you to? living for? Yeah. If we can't eat pizza. Yeah. If we can't have pancakes. Like Sunday, I want to go have McDonald's. Do it once. Do it for the one meal. Yeah. You know, it's still going to be nothing compared to if you're doing this for two months, those one meals spread Little out shit. in between. It's like 20%, not even, of, of your life. It's zero. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying don't make the McDonald's every meal yeah not every single meal needs to be a right. fucking party right and a festival you so, know so you're saying you do your rule is one cheat meal a week but you know what's fine if 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 that's what gets you there some people it might be two meals at first some people what happens to me is that my results get so good that i don't even want to cheat for two weeks straight right because i'm like oh shit like this is actually working i don't want to fuck it up and then sometimes, like, I do... So, so you're saying, too, it's okay to cheat on your diet. It's not okay to cheat on your spouse. I'm not saying that. <laughs> do you think me divorcing my wife would help me get into ketosis quicker? Probably. If I broke up with Vinny, would I be in ketosis quicker? 